Okay, so today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this cute little emoji squishy. Let's go. A regular spun, sponge doesn't matter. Well, if you have one without this bottom, you don't need an exacto knife. Just, well, just fast forward the video a little bit. But first, I'll show you what to do if you have a like a sponge that's not that squishy with this part on. So, so what you want to do is I already started cutting it. So you're gonna take your exacto knife and just keep it near the edge and just start c cutting the sponge off, off the little the rough part on the side so i'll see you when i'm done so once you get to a certain point you could just start ripping it off like so and so once you have that you could like like if you were in the video like you could just use it as a scrubber again just without throwing it out so let's get on to the next part your sponge you're gonna take a sharpie and you're gonna take a round object, but go. But first, go check out my other video where I show you a cool back to school video on this cool water bottle. So, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sharpie and just take a circular object that that fits around your emoji, like sponge, sponge, and just trace it around. And then once you got yours traced, you're gonna take your exacto or a sponge again and just start cutting it around. Once you've taken off your scraps, you can just throw that away. And if you have access like that, you can just take your scissors and just snip it off. And take your time because the more time you put into it, the better it'll look. And just make it circular. Oops. So, you're going to get felt. And then you're going to fold it in half. So, And then you're going to take a little bit bigger than your sponge. So you could get a nice background. Like, I don't know what you would call it. But, so you're going to take a, circ a little bit bigger circular object. And then I used lanyard in my case. And I'm going to take a Sharpie or a pen, whatever you want to use. And I'm just going to trace it like a normal circle. And once you have done that, you could just take your scissors. You don't need that one anymore. And you could just cut it with both of them underneath. So you don't have to take the time away from doing the same exact thing again. So, yeah. So once you have cut your circles, you could just... It doesn't matter if you have a little cuts like that because it's going to be glued down so you're going to take your sponge and you at this point you want to start warming up your hot glue and so you're going to take your hot glue once it's ready and just like take your sponge and get this one flat down because we're going to put it straight down on there so go ahead and fill the top of your sponge or squishy what you ever want to call it And just squeeze that down on there and once it touches something else it will automatically dry so you just want to do it like really really fast so once that has dried on you you're gonna take little by little of your edges and just put it on the edge and glue that and then you're gonna fold this right on top 
and just do that all the way around once you have it all glued on the sponge. So one side, so once you have one side glued, you're going to do the same exact thing to the other side. So once you have done that, you could go ahead and cut little pieces out for your face and the face. Yes, I didn't have anything else to use to pick the emoji, so I used my pencil case and I picked that emoji. So I cut out the felt colors for the tears, the eyes, and the mouth. So now you're going to hot glue that on. So I'm going to Don't do the tears. With the mouth. And since he has teeth, I'm going to glue teeth. And once I glue the mouth on, I'm going to glue the eyes and I'm going to do tears left. So once you have your cool face glue, hot glue down, now you are once finished. But if you want to add a little detail to it and make it a little look better, but like see how mine has crumpled, you could just trim it. And basically, yeah. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this video and give a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe below to get more DIYs like this one. Bye.